All right, Isaac, thanks so much. Fox Carolina is the school station. A judge has not yet decided if federal funding will be given to families to use for private school tuition. You may remember last week, Governor McMaster announced he was using emergency education relief funds to help families meet educational needs. The money is part of the CARES Act that provides federal money to deal with the COVID pandemic. His plan to provide grants to students was temporarily blocked. Critics say it's unconstitutional. They claim the law prohibits the government from funding private education. The governor disagrees. The judge concluded the hearing without a judgment. As we learn more, when he does make a ruling, we'll pass it along on air and online. Fox Carolina is going in depth tonight. The debate over CARES Act funds continues, and we're hearing from families and educators on both sides about what should be done with the $32 million. Right now, it hangs in the balance while we wait for the ruling to come down. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax has been following this story for us. He joins us live from Hampton Park Catholic School in Greenville. Yeah, Tori, today's court hearing was a culmination of a series of events. If you remember, the governor made that announcement just over a week ago here at Hamden Park Christian. And since then, both sides have been rushing to claim what they rightfully believe is their money, while parents and teachers anxiously wait. Patrick Kelly is a school teacher and advocate for public education. It seems to be pretty black and white in the language of our Constitution that our state cannot provide public funds for direct aid to private or religious schools. Today, the governor's representatives argued that the money from safe grants would not go directly to schools, but rather to parents like Michelle Gant. As long as I can afford it, whether that means working one job or three jobs, I've always we just always have done that. Gant is a single mom with three boys at Hampton Park Christian and says the money would help her and her choice to send them there immensely. It would be nice just to not have to work 24 <laughs> seven. I mean, I'll do it because I love my kids and I'll do what I have to do, but it would be nice to have a little bit more of the focus on them instead of where's the money coming from all the time. But Kelly says giving 5% of all South Carolina students more than two thirds of CARES Act money is not just disproportional, it's wrong. That $32 million will only fund about 5,000 scholarships. There are almost 800,000 public school students in South Carolina. He also adds South Carolina's public schools are already struggling amidst a pandemic to afford things like sanitizer, masks, and glass shields. The governor's allocation of gear funds toward private scholarships is diminishing our capacity to do something as basic as that. Gant says the struggle is universal and that she pays just as much out of her own pocket to give her kids what they need. Just because you go to a private school doesn't mean you have all this enormous amounts of money. It just means everybody sacrifices in a different way. The governor says he'll do everything to make sure the ruling goes his way. We'll appeal because we think it's perfectly legal under the Constitution. Obviously, as you said earlier, the judge presiding over this case has not issued a ruling one way or the other, and there's no clear timeline as to when he could make a final decision at this point. Once we know things, we will pass them along to you online, on the air, and inside our free Fox Carolina News app. In Greenville tonight, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.